All right. Woof. Not too bad. Not too many glitches. Yes, the assets will be available in the future. That link is going to stay up, the link that I provided. Cool. Yeah, glad you enjoyed it. Thanks, Twig Pro. Uh, C Strachan asks, am I going to be doing more on this controller next? Mm, I don't think so. Um, at least I don't have it planned. If you guys have specific questions for more stuff in this 2D platformer physics world, I would be happy to think about it. Um, but I think that covered a lot of the basics that I wanted to cover. Yes, you can totally use Penny for your games. And hopefully we'll be, there's actually a lot more sprites and stuff that were done in this universe. And so hopefully we'll be able to release those soon too. But there's some nice like little tiles for the environment that you can get out of the uh, package. And obviously all her animation and stuff is there. Uh, Oscar Uzo wants to see the Velocity X in the animator controller, sure. It's parameters, here's Velocity X, and I'm pretty sure that it is, let's see, is there, are there multiple, whoops. Go on the base layer, the, where's the player run, player jump. That'll be here. Transition is, yeah, here we go. So if the transition from idle to run, if velocity X is greater than 0 0.001, uh, we're gonna transition to the run animation. Yeah, please have fun with Penny Pixels. I'm excited to see what people in the community uh, do with her. We had one set of plans for her inside our department, uh, and then those plans changed and she became sort of an orphan. And so then I was able to get her, uh, for live training. So that's kind of fun. This is the first time I've actually had like exclusive new assets to use in live training. So that's kind of neat. Thanks. He's tracking. If you're getting an index out of range error, it's gotta be the, the array, it's going to be the array or list. Make sure you're initializing them with some size. I've got them initialized to 16. And make sure you're looping over with the um, count or um, to copy to the list. Oscar Uzo, no, I guess it doesn't affect the animation speed. I don't think it does. Nope. Not so far as I can tell. Let me see. Ramas 44B is asking about rigidbody 2 dpositionion I'm just going to pull it up in the manual. Yeah, Ramas 44B writes that he found this in the manual. The rigidbody 2D component overrides the transform and updates its position rotation defined by the rigidbody 2D. Note that while you can still override the rigidbody 2D by modifying the transform component yourself, Doing so will cause problems such as game objects passing through or into each other. That's that's why I, that was always my understanding is that you'll get better, more consistent physics behavior by moving the rigid body than moving the transform. I just got a message from my coworker Melvin who works on the 2D stuff, says he's watching. What's up Melvin? Thanks for your help with all the 2D stuff, it's amazing. Oh, he's given a better answer about the uh, rigid body 2D thing, let's see. Okay, Melvin says, rigidbody 2 dposition sets the position instantly. Interpolation isn't available, and you can move into overlap with other colliders, so any callbacks are in an overlap position. rigidbody 2 move position moves to the position during the next fixed update. Interpolation can be used, and because the kinematic body is moving through the intervening space, it'll correctly collide and report for collision callbacks that occur along the way rather than just the overlap at the new position. There you have it, folks. This is this is the man who knows, as opposed to me, who clearly doesn't know. <laughs> thank you, Melvin. Terrific. Oh, thank you, uh, Ramus 44B. I'm glad to hear that you got to join us live, and I'm glad that you enjoy the archives. Um, I have a lot of fun doing these. It's fun. It's doing them live is more fun than just doing them recorded to tape by, by myself. The quote unquote tape. Hard disk. Um, yeah, it's better, better energy doing it live. 
chat is asking about Melvin. Melvin is works on the 2D physics side primarily, as far as I know. Um, I think there's some other guys doing this sprite stuff. Awesome. Okay, guys, so if you got last questions, toss them in the chat. Uh, and I will try to give you guys some answers. And otherwise, we'll start to wrap up. All right, so what I'm going to do, since it seems to be slowing down a little bit, I am going to wrap up the stream. This is our Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter, at Unity3D. At the Ant Ranch is Adam Buckner. At Matt Mirafish is me. At Will Goldstone is the leader of our team. And at Mike Geig uh, helps us out and does some live training occasionally. You guys probably know Mike if you follow live training. Um, check us out on Twitter. I try to announce these on Twitter. You can also uh, follow us on Twitch here and you'll get an email or whatever it's called. Like, follow. I forget. I can never remember what it's called on Twitch. But uh, you can follow the channel and you'll get uh, emails before we go live. We're doing these every two weeks on Wednesday afternoon, Eastern U.S. time, whatever time. Same time, but we moved from Mondays now to Wednesdays. So whatever time that is where you are, hopefully it's not too late or too early. Um, but yeah, thank you so much uh, for everybody for coming out. Uh, great to see some new people in the chat and always great to see the regulars. And I will be back in two weeks and see you then. Bye. <laughs>